Well, now's as good a time to start this episode as any, and with that, what we've got is a little... Oh, turn on the alarm. We've got a little raiding party coming in. Actually, that is a massive group of people. Oh my gosh. I need my folks in there manning the battlements. Uh, let me see if I can... See, I can leave this gate open and kind of encourage them this way, rather than just destroying all of my towers. Which, wow, they did. Fortunately, the people there are just fine. Um, come on, you lot. There's like a lot of you there. Like, here's another archer to take down and another one. Oh, you're just going to take down all my towers. Fine. I think there's some bronze swords in there, maybe? Yeah, finish them off. Okay, how many did we lose? We lost a few people, but not... It wasn't the end of the world not the most catastrophic raid I've ever seen so it's time to uh, replace these little towers and I think there was one there that's probably fine and enough work for them meanwhile uh, the stone circle continues to be built we've got another house going up here because we're a little low on people and one here and our walls are gently being finished off which I do, uh, do appreciate uh, we have enough bronze production now, uh, so we've got all the bronze coming in. As such, I've told this little metalsmith here to work on spears and sickles. So that's starting to happen. No, wait, wait, there we go, bronze. I want that to happen just to make sure we have a bit of a fighting edge, because we don't have swords yet, and also to ensure we can continue to grow the fields and crops we want. And filling in over here is going nicely. Stables is there. We're on 30 possible uh, animals. We had a little bit of a feed shortage over winter, so we lost a few goats, but not, not the end of the world. Uh, I am sort of considering... I'm sort of considering putting in a little bit of fields here, because why not? It would be a good idea. And, oh, I don't have rye domestication yet. You know, I think I'm going to go for Rye Domestication because of the unlock for uh, beautiful, beautiful grains and hay. So we'll go with that. And I think I'm going to put in one more. Do I need it? Um, I'm going to be a bit cautious. I don't want to overwork them. We've got all these plants here, these working plants. So that's good as well. We've got our service tree. I'm actually not sure what the surface tree is meant to do. Oh, it produces a it produces a bunch of things? Like a cherry tree. Hang on. Do they all produce the same jolly thing? Okay, so they all produce a bit of wood and this one just produces service. This one's cherry, pears. I've got nuts in here as well. Uh, let me just double check. Chestnut. Yeah, nuts and sticks and Actually, you produce a ton of sticks and wood. Wow, is that... I don't think that's when I chop you down. I think it's just when you're you're sitting there, you doing you. So, can I fit in more? I can fit one there. I do like the idea of these, uh, these, these chestnut trees providing so much useful goodness for us. If I could just remember to click on the thing that I'm wanting to do while I talk about it, that would be absolutely amazing brain. Um, can I fit another one in? Uh, we'll try plant and uh, chestnut. Like, no, we can't. Might be able to squeeze some at the end here. Like, especially, what, yeah, we'll go like that. And eventually this will all go down as well. Is there actual rock gathering going on here? I'm going to put out a marker anyway, because look, there's a ton of rock. Yeah, that seems sensible. So all of the rest of this is ticking along quite nicely. These will require, what is it, logs to go up. And tin and copper are coming in. So we shouldn't have any copper stuff anymore. Just bronze starting to be made. Next question I have is what to grab. We're already up here in the Bronze Age, but I do feel that perhaps donkeys and carts would be a good idea before we jump into the late game. We've also started, I've started to find with the traders that the harpoons we were selling for 10 are now selling for one because we're making fishing rods. So that's kind of a shame. The traders are definitely eyeing up the old fishing rods uh, and don't want, uh, don't want our crummy old fish harpoons anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but we'll just have to live with it. 
everything is progressing pretty well. I do think it's time to grab stilting because I want carts and I definitely want to get up to horses. And I kind of fancy the idea of putting a little bridge across here, to be perfectly frank. They keep running across here anyway. And I think this would look rather, rather sweet with our little gateway entrance there. So that's all that set. Hopefully that, wow, nine logs, that's quite a bit. The other thing I need to do is sort out some more storage because the, the town is starting to grow and it's growing in this direction. So to me, that means we need food and, uh, yeah, food and resource storage, which is all gonna just go in there quite nicely. And we're up to 72 people with a max capacity of 76. The fence is actually almost complete. I'm kind of impressed that they've uh, managed to do this, but I guess we just haven't overtaxed them. I've just been a little bit careful. And I've also had a bit of a think, hey, I'm pretty sure only matters in winter because the, you know, the animals are out grazing in the summer and spring. So we're gonna have to let that roll for a little while. And this is almost all built also. And uh, I think there's a min here. Yeah, it's just waiting for a bit of leather to drag in. So I'm looking forward to seeing them produce that. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've got a little tannery going on down here. Not a lot, but it's coming through. And I'll keep an eye out. Maybe the trader will offer us some leather and uh, that will also speed up that. And then we'll have a beautiful stone circle right in the middle of town. It's going to look fantastic. Well, as I explored the map, I noticed we had a few raiders coming in uh, well before the game alerted me. So I have, uh, look at them, there's like... There's like heaps of them. There's like a bunch there and there's two more at the back who got confused crossing the river. Anyway, I have alerted everything early because I know I noticed them getting up to this mischief. So I'm hoping that everyone is well prepared. In fact, everyone kind of isn't. So I'm gonna send them this way. And, oh, if I'd been super smart, I would have ambushed them in the river. Oh, what am I thinking, tiny pirate? You missed a golden opportunity there with your nattering and rambling. We're just going to wait right here. Look, they've snapped in behind the gate, which I think is a good sign. Oh, how many have we lost? Three. <sighs> We're just going to... Yep. 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 That's a shame. That is a real shame. Uh, we did get them all, though, so yay us. But even so, that was a little terrible, a little weak performance, mostly on my behalf, really. Uh, which I've also kind of realized that we're sort of in an odd... I've got an odd decision here, in a way. By putting in this bridge, I'm going to make it much easier for people to cross and attack us. We won't be able to bottleneck them as well in the river. So I'm putting another watchtower here. I'm hoping that a couple of watchtowers here can slow them down. But we shall see. I'm not sure it'll be a big problem for us. We lost a couple of three people there, but it wasn't, wasn't the end of the world. So, yeah, we'll survive, I guess. We've got another storage shed up, which is good, because it has been complaining about storage space. Stables are the next thing to... Hmm. I do think we need. Uh, how are we going to lay it? Um, yeah, let's pop it there. And what have we got trader? So let's have a little look here. I think we're okay on weapons. Food we're pretty good on. I like having outfits. And I like wool to make other outfits. And a bit of straw never goes awry. We've got an absolute ton of bows, by the way. And I need to get rid of all of these. I'm going to get rid of them all at once because I don't, I don't want to run out of tools. But you know, one thing we do have is just... Okay, like insane amounts of bows. Twice as many bows as we have people. So I'm going to grab some cloth while we're here. 80. Cut that back. Whoops. Cut that back. Um, probably a few bones lying around. Bam. That's pretty awesome. Look, 170 bows. So I know what we're going to be selling to every single trader for everything. And what I like to stock up on are the kind of the middle products. I like to stock up on bars, ores, just because the travel time involved in getting them. So if I hit the limit on them, which I better make sure I've set, then I don't have all people wandering the map endlessly gathering them. Yep, so that's all going to hopefully control itself just with purchases. And uh, yeah, I think everything's going along very well. We're at nine tick, so we could... 
advance something, but I don't yet have it. This is what I want, donkey domestication. Ha, <laughs> there we go. We now have it, and I don't have the ability to make carts by the looks of it. No, I do actually need to find some donkeys. So where are you, my little, little donkey minions? I must find you, and we must capture you. What are you, little pigs? Three of them, no doubt. But you're not what I'm looking for. Aha! I have found you, donkeys. Be prepared to be captured. There you go. There's a whole bunch there. And why not a whole bunch of whatever you guys are? We'll capture you too. And just send the people out. Do it, my minions. Captures a lot of them. We have 30. Space for 30. So that's going to go up to 40 soon. And I will manage these very actively. So I think we'll go up to... We'll go up to 20 donkeys because we'll get carts and I will put down another stables in due course. Yeah, animal population reached 40. Great. Donkey domestication unlocked. Great. So I'm hoping we'll see them drag. Are you going to be... No, you're just a young donkey. I'm hoping we'll see them dragged back home. Another field goes in. Again, of rye, just because I want that. I want that bonus, basically. <laughs> I do want that bonus, which I get with rye, which is for extra... Extra grain? Am I planting the wrong thing? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Extra straw. Is barley I want to plant? Oh my gosh. I feel very silly. Never mind. We'll clear those up in the in the winter. We'll clear those fields out and put down new stuff. So we got barley, barley, rye, rye. Yeah, I'm going to need more barley. I might. Actually, a little bit of crop variety is probably a good idea, so maybe we'll replace one of these. We'll leave the rye and put in another barley. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, that will help with, I think, general health in case there's a disease or something. So we have very good very good capacity here for people. I'm comfortable with that. Food is, is filling up this nicely. That is already full. Wow, so we've got way too much stuff. Um... Yeah, more storage. And I think storage across the middle here so that it's easy access. Because we've got three here. That stables will probably need to go down in due course as well. And I need to up the priority because it's summer. I need to up the priority on the stables to give our donkeys somewhere warm in winter. Bridge is up. And we get knowledge for that, which is cool. Do I want to put up, like, multiple bridges here just for the cook factor? You know, I think I do. That's just, you know can't help myself there really just got to do it so we've got ourselves a nice little producing area here we've got another granary because these have been getting really full uh, food dryer well mortar and a tanner right there so that's the core productioning job and we're at 75 odd people so it's time to throw in another house which yeah we'll jam it in right there this guy here has been put on sleds and what have you, but I'm actually going to take him off sleds because I think we're very close to getting the 10 knowledge we need for the carts, which would be would be very handy indeed. Our donkeys and what have you have survived the winter. We ran out of straw because basically the barley all died off with some disease, which is exactly what I worried about, or a lot of it did. I have put in some more barley there, so I'm hoping that's the last of our straw problems. I think I'll pick up bits and bobs here while the going is good with the... I'll grab all of this. While the going is good, do we need goats? No, we don't want pig domestication. But we have so, 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 so many bows. And they're still pretty valuable. So, uh, what am I going to... Okay, we'll throw that back in and give them five bones. And I don't really want to unlock the composite bows for quite a while, to be frank. Not, a, not while I have so many bows to get rid of. I need to drop that number down to at least the population number before I unlock composites because I think that would put the bow price down to like $1. One, one unit of currency and I don't want that at all. What do we do? Just hunt some deer to death nearby? So we are still dragging stuff around. Now let me have a look here. We've got goats wandering the hills, that's fine. The, the This should pop straight back up massively on the straw because the barley's going in the square they can't farm, which is a shame. Meanwhile, I've added a few more chestnuts because I'm just astonished at this number, really. Like, I'm not so fussed about the food, but if they reliably put out a bit of wood, 
then that would be amazing and I could I can kind of reliably then not have to send people far afield they can just hover around the neighborhood so to speak uh, just just gathering a few nuts oh there's a bear there being intimidating don't worry we're gonna sort you out pal pretty sure there's a hunting area over there yeah I don't want my people traveling far so that would help quite a bit and uh, that would be yeah I'm hoping would be very efficient Meanwhile, there is... Ah, here we go. The far, final min, minor min here rock thing is on its way at a good pace. Yeah, do you there? Nice. So, wo waiting for that to come in. I think that's going to be amazing. And look, we got our second bridge in. That's looking very main highway-ish. Which is always appreciated. Almost contemplating a third, but I think I'll hold off. I might put in a bridge over here. But I'm kind of like the idea of having the opportunity to ambush people. I really do, because murdering them in the river is much easier than murdering them out of the river. And the only reason I have a bridge in here is because there are a lot of people constantly crossing here. And there are a lot of people crossing here as well. Are they going to drag that rock through the river or are they going to drag it over the bridge? I think they're going to go over the bridge. Yeah, looks like it. Dragging it through the river would be a touch ridiculous. Something to think about, I guess, if you do have to get a rock from somewhere, is you need to make sure it's going to come through and not not drag across a river, because it won't do it. They'll probably just not even queue up that order. Meanwhile, these have gone in. I'm kind of feeling a little confident about putting in a second. I'm conscious that each of these towers requires maintenance. And, yeah, that can be a time-consuming thing for our people to have to put up with. And one more down here. They do take maintenance, but our people don't look too overwhelmed. The fact that they got straight onto that, they just need a bit of straw, that's a good sign, as far as I'm concerned. Meanwhile, what have we got going on here? Carts. I don't really want you to make sledges. I thought I told you to cancel that. And are the other houses going in? So population up to 80 is perfectly viable. When that is low, I'm wondering, I see the little icon over it. It doesn't really tell me what that means. Condition is fine. Is it telling me that there's no water available? Hmm, could be. Might have to put in another well, but look, towers are going up super fast. The final rock has been dragged into place. We just caught it and up comes the building. I'm really excited to see this. I like watching them build. I like the stages going in. The big slabs are waiting to be hauled up onto the top of the of the rocks. Yeah, there you go, see? Using dirt, push them up there, turn them around, slide them all in place. Brilliant, you're getting archaeology lesson. Whoa, as you watch this game. Ah oh, yes, yeah, so the yes, the raiders are exactly where we thought they might come. And I've got, kind of got to wait for them all to group up a little bit at some of the gates because uh, over here, this gate, this gate, come over. No, don't walk, run. What? Where are you going, pal? I have no idea where you think you're going. You're, you're thirsty. Old male, don't give no. Have these people got, yep, these have got people in them. Okay, over here to this gate. Will they make it? If I if I double click on the gate, well, they won't change gate position. If I run them over, will they stay there? You know, you lot over here. No, 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 there. Oh, some are coming this way, which is a bit of a concern. Oh, well, this foolish old man made it the wrong way. The tower is helping. We lost a couple of people there. One person. Two people. Three people. Oh, they've taken down a tower. Oh, come on, people. Dogs are down. Okay, come on, you lot. Is there anyone left who can help? This is a little bit brutal. Oh, man. And these two finished off a dog and was shot by a tower. Huh, okay, that was that was a little messier than I would have liked, to be perfectly frank. That was that was fairly disgusting. Can't do much about that at present. I think Yeah, I can make sure there are enough towers here so that people get in them. 
which seems to be the better way of defending than on foot. But never mind, that is okay. And our stone circle is up. Our people can now worship uh, happily inside the walls. Hmm, I always like to load up on this stuff because I have tons of money and that's good. And why not? 160? Easily paid for by 11 bows. Bam! There we go. So let's have a look at the clothing. Plenty of clothing. Plenty of stored cloth and linen. Oh my god, that's kind of ridiculous. So I don't need to buy that anymore. I can just let that stuff all idle. Meanwhile, eh, doing okay on megalomania. Here we go. Megalomania. Yay! You have proven what you are capable of. That's good. I don't know what I'm capable of, but I have proven it, so that's always nice. I mean, while everyone's going out here looting the heck out of all these weapons. So what do we got? A ton of bronze spears. More bows than I think we started with just about. And a bunch of bronze swords, which I'm pretty sure we didn't make. Pretty sure those are all been uh, manufactured out of our raiders. I have now told it, yeah, because we can't make them yet ourselves. And we got a bunch of tech. So yay, the cart is now ours. I can tell this person to switch over to a bunch of cart building. It is going to require a lot of leather. And for that, I really need to get our animal populations a little higher. And for that, we need to make sure the hay is coming in, the straw is coming in. So it looks like it'll make it, well, we will make it through winter. But we're not going to be making it much beyond winter with the current hay. So I'm sort of tempted to put down... Yeah, I don't always want to farm inside the walls, but that's a very easy place to put a bunch of barley. And uh, people will be able to reach it easy, and that'll save time. Eventually we'll have to tear it out for housing, but for now, that's perfectly viable. And the travel distances aren't too great. How many of these are you going to be able to get down? Like, four leather is all we've got. Now we've stopped moving, moving these stone, stones around. We should have a bit more leather availability, because it takes a bit of leather to construct the carts to haul, haul that stuff around. It's looking a bit better now. So I think we'll be okay there. They came across those bridges so fast. I almost wonder if next time, if I see a really big party and I'm worried, I'll just go bam, bam, mark for deletion. I think that makes the item unusable straight away. That's my instinct. And if it's unusable straight away, they'll swim across the river. And these, these corner towers here and the one that's here, plus our own defenders, should be able to pick up three or four or more of the dudes before they make it to our walls. Meanwhile, this is up and looking very tidy. Um, do I want to double gate? I do at this stage. I think I do, just because they will tend to try and smash through. So double gates, it's just twice as long for them to get through, basically, if they do decide to attack it. And by going out and in on the gates, then it makes it a bit, a bit easier. Don't even know if I can over here. I don't know if I've given myself enough room. No, I can't, but uh, we'll just have to survive on that one. Just have to take a risk. Over here. Well, I've put in fields, so it's a little bit pointless trying to squeeze more in. But I will put in another tower just to cover that front way. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking brilliant. Up to 80 maximum population. Food is fine. Winter we have just about finished and we're out of straw. So I'm a little bit concerned about these numbers. You do see them drop in winter when they're out of straw, but I think I'll be okay. So we're on 34, actually up to 35. So I think that's a slight improvement. We should survive a little bit longer, I'm hoping. And that chestnut tree is up. Lovely. New animal born goat times two. So there you go. Yeah, they're still being born in winter, even though we are flat out of straw. Very nearly flat out of straw. Not helped by me adding more construction in the middle of winter. Probably should be should be careful not to do that, not to waste the straw, which we need to keep our animals alive. So I've just got this trader in with a low price on horse domestication. And to be honest, I'm kind of inclined to grab it just because that's how easy it is. We've got such an excess of bows. I can sell off my leftover copper. Um, yeah, I, that's just an, that's an easy one. Give her a couple of slabs of um, sheep as well. Bam, horse domestication. So what is that going to offer us? Well, we can get the horse. I guess that's fine. Um, can I see any out there? 
There must be some kicking around somewhere. I don't know if the horses are that much more useful than the than the donkeys. I don't I don't see them being particularly f fast or much more enthusiastic, but I'm assuming that they are a good thing. Well, we've survived yet another winter and spring and summer have come through. I've, I've ordered them to put in some chickpeas here. I don't know, it just seemed like a good idea because the pulses are you know, grown off season and we only have two pulse fields and we have a whole bunch of barley fields. So that's, that's a little job they're going to do until we run out of space inside the walls. The walls look basically pretty complete and... Um, Come to think of it, I should actually make this like a proper double wall thing because, I don't know, that would look quite tidy, I suppose. Now eventually, of course, we'll upgrade all of this to stone. So that will be fine there. These are all looking pretty good. Population is starting to get back up again after we had those couple of losses. Those tragic losses in the, the face of a great evil, the horrible raiders. So there and there is good and I'm feeling pretty confident I think we're doing like extremely well like not just great but but really great I'm gonna grab some logs because I like to bronze knives leather we seem to always need a lot of I'm gonna grab all of that I don't need much in the way of cloth all of those picks and we're gonna just flick off a bunch of bows <laughs> it's so easy it's kind of disgusting um, Give them a bit of meat since we have that one free and bam looking at our tool situation spears great bronze knives uh, axes are coming through tons of fishing rods are starting to pop through as well sickles that one i need to make sure we definitely keep on top of uh, picks looking fine bows swords wonderful tons of clothing my final act because i've noticed we've got a uh, a large rock spear our megalith spear is to further mark the pathway to the gods and there we go that stone there is going to show our people where to go when they die, which is up to the top of this mountain and into the afterworld, where they will be scattered amongst the stars. Yes, that's how I, that's how we're going to go with it. Um, yeah, I'm I'm thinking this is great. I'm pretty pleased. I don't think we're going to have any issues. Those raiders seem quite manageable. Brilliant. More tech coming through. We do actually have a bit of tech to spend, so I think it's going to be masonry. And now, now begins, like, the great upgrading. And we'll do it big chunks of the wall at a time. I've actually explicitly upped the stone count to 52, just to make sure that we had a good stock, so that we could very rapidly upgrade all of these. And I'm hoping that they'll be able to crack through it fairly promptly. I don't think they're overworked. I think they have enough food. And I think my 75% sort of... Uh, limits on all food have produced about the right amount that's about the right amount of leftover food and uh, yeah that should see them through very nicely into the next year until next time i've been tiny pirate thanks for watching i hope you'll stick around and continue to see the town grow might want to see how big i can get this one might be a bit easier as one massive town rather than a couple of small ones like in my other let's play series but yeah, I hope you'll stick around. If you like my stuff a lot, then do consider becoming a channel member. There are some few, few little perks with that. If you just like watching the videos, that's also awesome. Until next time, good night.